For what purposes may a court admit evidence of a criminal defendant's prior criminal conduct at trial? We explore that question in United States versus Wright. A man standing on a Chicago street sold crack cocaine to undercover police officers on several occasions. The officers identified the seller as Stanley Wright. Instead of immediately arresting Wright, however, the police obtained court authorization to wiretap Wright's phone and record his conversations. During one conversation with an unidentified woman, Wright boasted that he was a drug dealer. Wright told the woman that he obtained drugs and then had other people sell them. Wright didn't mention anything about personally selling drugs in the same area or during the same time period that the sales to the undercover officers occurred. At trial, the undercover officers testified that Wright was the man who sold them crack. However, the officers' descriptions of the seller differed from Wright in certain key respects, including weight and height. The district court admitted portions of the recorded conversation between Wright and the unidentified woman over Wright's objection. The jury convicted Wright of several drug-related offenses. Wright appealed to the Seventh Circuit.